Hello there. Welcome to the Shaley Hope Center for Healing, where we are manifesting a faith-inspired collaborative community of hope, healing, and prosperity. You have landed on a healer's nook video, so I am assuming that you are a healer. If you're not, this is great for you if you're a parent or whatever, but we are talking about how to help someone forgive someone when they're not ready to let go yet. If this is for you, awesome. If you're a healer, awesome. I'm glad that you're here. Before we jump into our topic, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Bronwyn Olschlager. I am an intuitive healer. I'm a business mentor, and I'm the founder of the Shaley Hope Center for Healing. And my genius zone is organizing and systematizing collaborations. It makes me happy. And that is exactly what we're doing here on this channel. So if you are a healer or looking to improve your mental, emotional, energetic, or and or physical health in a holistic way, then you're in the right place. I collaborate with a bunch of different healers. So we all have a whole bunch of different perspectives on the healing things. And we post a couple of times a day. So if you want to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss anything, that is a great thing to do if you're feeling the nudge to hang out on this channel. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up so that the search engines will, the algorithms will send it out into suggested searches land. And of course, if you're feeling to share it, you're invited to do so. I always invite you to follow your soul nudges. All right, let's talk about how to forgive someone when you're not ready to go, let go yet. Um, I just made a, the first video I made about forgiveness is called how to forgive someone. That is the overview of this uh, this whole con concept of how to ha actually have an, a mental, emotional, and energetic breakthrough so that you can start believing something new and practicing that new idea. But I did say in that video that this merits dissection. So this is one of the dissection videos. Um, this comes with a lot of emotion for me because this this process that I'm about to teach you, actually, this part of it actually came to me um, through a download when I was at, uh, a download from God when I was in my most, I think the worst, hardest time of my adulthood so far. We had uh, purchased a home that was a fixer-upper. It was exactly, I mean, I was so excited to fix that thing up. And then shortly after, we had a, a massive financial crisis. And several years later, we were in a position where we had to sell our home or lose it. And we actually closed on the sale of our home the day before it was about to go to auction. So, so it was so stressful. But during that time, I was actually questioning because Everything was so hard. I'm sure that you can understand. It was like this big giant snowball in relationship stuff and money stuff, the freedom stuff, being able to take care of our kids, the whole thing. It was so hard. And I was questioning whether or not it would be better, whether my family would be better off if I was not there. And I know it's silly, but it's not silly, you know, to somebody who's going through it. So I can, I can understand those feelings that people go through because I had a moment where I was very seriously thinking that way and I needed to heal. And so I was agonizing, rocking on my couch, asking for help. And, um, and it came to me what to do. And I started this process where I was looking up how to do forgiveness. And I came across this uh, Tibetan monk who was not talking about forgiveness. In fact, I had given up and then I followed the soul nudge to go back and look again. And in the suggested searches, and the suggested videos was this Tibetan monk talking about talking to yourself. And he didn't do it. He didn't say it like what I got here because that came to me from God as I was learning this, as I was being nudged through this. So it's not the same. If you watch that video, you would not get this out of it. <laughs> but, um, but I did. I received this process through listening to this monk say how important it is to learn to have a conversation with yourself. So as we go through this, I hope that you will um, allow little downloads to come from you to you in order for you to enhance this for the benefit of the people that you're helping to do forgiveness. Ugh, excuse me, I have a lot of emotion with this. Okay, so you're not a robot. And neither are the people that you are trying to help. They're not just going to get over it. It's not quick. It's not get over it. If you try to get over it, you end up stuffing it down and it's going to come back up later. So this is, this is 
you know, so important to, when you're forgiving to understand the mechanics of forgiveness. And this is Mechanics of Forgiveness uh, 101 by Bronwyn. <laughs> so the key is to learn to listen to your injury from the perspective of your highest self. And this is a this is a process of learning how to toggle back and forth between your highest self, which is your actual you, and your injury, which is the experience and the meaning and everything that you have given to this thing that happened or this these words that were said to you or whatever, this regret that you have, okay? Um, if you can toggle back and forth, and I'm going to teach you how I do that in this video, but if you could toggle back and forth, eventually you spend more time going at life, leading from the space of your highest self and it's magic. It feels so much better to go at life that way. The injury is is injured. It hurts. <laughs> so if you can help it heal and lead from the space of your highest self, it just feels so much better. Okay, so here's how to break this down. And you might want to take notes. Just write down the things that come to you as I'm talking. I think it will really help. But how to talk to yourself. Learn the voice of your injury. What does it sound like? This one's pretty easy because it's that broken record that goes in your head like, oh, and it's like, shut up. I wish it would just stop. I just want to feel better. That is your injury. And then learn the voice of your highest self. And this one is a little bit trickier because people have this interesting shame perspective of thinking of themselves as their highest self. They think of this highest self as what they're going to become when they're finally perfect and have no problems and have no negative emotions ever, right? But your highest self, um, I'm actually, I'll go into that in just a second. I'll tell you what your highest self is <laughs> in just a second. So learn to speak from your injury and listen from your highest self. It's so powerful. It's so powerful. Okay, so first get your journal that you can burn because you're going to dump and dump and dump into this journal and get all of this injury out of your body and onto the paper, intentionally removing that energy from your body and getting it onto the paper into a new physical form, if you can think of it like that, just flowing all the pain out onto the paper on purpose, believing that it's leaving your body and getting out onto the paper. That's a big important part of this. You're actually for real expressing it from your body out onto a new physical form. I don't think I can say that enough. It's so important and it's one thing that gets kind of glossed over. So I'm inviting you to look at it and think of it as like the number one most important thing that you can do when you're doing this process. Otherwise you can just spin and spin and spin and spin forever. So write in regular handwriting as your injury and write in cursive as your highest self and prepare to open up more than you've ever opened up in your whole life. Okay, I'm going to examine these definitions for you. just like I always do. We're redefining. It's awesome. Redefining reality. Here's the, in, the definition of injury. Okay, the mortal part of you that is in pain. That's it. It's simple. Your body has had all these experiences since it was conceived and it is holding these experiences, not knowing how to handle them because it is a baby. Your body is this beautiful, intelligent, baby, awesome machine, like super awesome thing that you're wearing. And it has all of these experiences and needs you to lead it through healing these experiences using the law of, um, forgiveness, which was provided by the atonement of Jesus Christ. Okay. So we're, we're, we're just, we're just neutralizing the pain of the things that have happened because the power has been provided to us to be able to do that. Okay. Highest self, the highest self part of you that is connected to God from before you were born into your body. You got to think of this as separate. Okay. You actual, you put on your body and wears it. Okay. You lead your body. It is yours. It is not you. So this is the part of you that's wise and patient and able to listen without judgment, with complete empathy. It totally has absolute capacity to do the whole thing, to handle listening to yourself that well. This is the actual you. I like to call it the actual you. So in our last forgiveness video, we covered this simple shifting process. I'm just going to go through it again so that you can see where this all fits in. So I said, ask 
what's the meaning I'm giving this experience? What has this feeling cost me? What is feeling this way cost me? What would feel better to believe or perceive? And am I ready and willing to start this shift in perception? And this is where the forgiveness process comes in if you need it. And mostly, excuse me, most of the time we need it. So if the answer is no, you got to keep talking to yourself, journal your hurt feelings, let yourself be with it, no shame. Okay. And then I want to invite you to take the 21 day um, redefine and forgive experience. It's a little course. It's 21 days of lessons, videos that I made for you to help facilitate you getting through this forgiveness experience for yourself. And then of course, if you want to share that with the people that you're helping, I invite you to do that. You could either tell them about it or you can just have them go. It's free. They can just go and go through it themselves. It's awesome. So check the link in the description and, and just keep journaling. Okay. Show them how to how to do that and how to go really deep. I invite you to do it first before you send anybody over to do it. Okay, the simple shifting process, let's come back to this. If the answer is yes, and it will become yes as you go through the forgiveness process for enough days, your injury is going to finally go, I'm tired of hearing myself say this again. I'm tired of feeling mad. I'm tired of feeling hurt. I'm tired of feeling embarrassed. (sighs) What do we do now? Because your body learns to trust you and it knows that you're just asking questions and inviting it to express. And pretty soon it's going to say, will you please help me? Will you help me lead me to feeling better? What is better? That's when it's saying yes. Then you start choosing your desired perception and land on something that your mind can believe right now. And in our last video, I talked about an example with money and learning to believe that something is easy by baby stepping up to it with something that's easy to actually believe first. So you look at it as a stair step up to the belief that you really want to believe. Okay, so and then practice that baby step belief and add upon it as you go. Then during your journaling process, at some point, like I said, your injury is just going to say, I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay, so when you're ready to shift, when the answer is yes, it's it's about uprooting the pain. It's about uprooting the problem or the the source of the problem, which is the energy of the thought, right? And getting it up from the root. And it is okay if the paper gets messy. Sometimes you need to scribble, by the way. <laughs> Sometimes it's all about the scribbling because it doesn't matter what you're saying. It matters that you're expressing it out of your body and getting it out of you onto a new physical counterpart. And that is safely the paper, okay, that's going to get burned or torn to shreds but before you're done. So it's okay if it gets messy. You are in the process of washing your heart. All right. I hope that helped. I'm going to do more of these. So go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. I'm going to dissect some more pieces of this process. Um, But definitely do go and get that forgiveness, that 21 day forgiveness, redefine and forgive for um, experience, if I could say it right. Um, Grab it and experience it and see if it helps. And I hope it does. And if it does, please leave me a comment so that I know I can celebrate with you. That will make me happy. Of course, remember to, to like this video because it does help other people get to see it and share if you're feeling like this is something that somebody else could use. And we will talk to you next time. Oh, you know what? These are my suggestions. If you want to keep watching on this channel, and I hope that you do um, watch one of these suggested videos. And like I said, leave us a comment that helps us make more content just for you. We'll see ya.